Okay, I've got a great chord exercise that I learned from a guy in Florence, Italy by the name of Nuccio D'Angelo. And he is just this great guitar player, incredible composer. I met him through um, another just, you know, awe-inspiring musician named Flavio Cucchi, who I studied with both those guys um, in Florence. So anyway, here's how it goes. I'm going to do it really fast, and um, then you can try it at home, and you can do it with different types of chords and all that kind of stuff. So we have to pick a note and a chord type. So I'm going to pick a C, and I'm going to do this C right here. I'm not going to do this C. I'm not doing this C. I'm not doing this C, right? I'm, I'm just... I'm just gonna do this one, right? And we're gonna do major sevens. That's an easy one, right? So let's do C as the root. So that's gonna be C, E, G, B. C, E, then we're gonna do um, B and G. There's our C major seven right there, okay? Now C is gonna become the third of a major seven chord. So we're gonna do A flat, C, E flat, G. Right? So we've got um, A flat, C, E flat, G. There's another major seven shape right there, right? Still utilizing the C. So we're staying in the same position. We're learning four different major seven shapes in the same position. And you can do this with minor sevens, you can do it with diminished, you can do it with ninths, all this kind of stuff, right? We're just, this is just the example that I'm using. Okay, now it's, C is gonna become the fifth. So it's gonna be F, A, C, E. That's how we spell a major seven on F. So we're gonna do F, A, C, E flat. So, wait. No. I was playing a dominant seven. This is the major seven, right? F, A, C, E. Okay, and then finally your C is gonna become the major seventh of a major seven chord. So if C is the major seven, it's one fret below the root of whatever this chord's gonna be, so it's a D flat, all right? So we're gonna D flat, F, A flat, C. There we go. So those are our four major seven shapes all in the same spot. We did C major seven, C, E, G, B. We did A flat major seven, right there. And then we did F, major seven and then we did D flat major seven okay so give that one a shot you can do different notes on different parts of the fretboard different chord types but it's a great way to learn multiple shapes of the same type of chord in any spot on your fretboard good luck with that one